there everyone, Nubkex here, welcome back to Nub Raids. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna be helping you out with your early game gearing problems. This is inspired by a comment I got just over a day ago, or under a day ago from Decipher. He said, I'm two weeks into the game and I'm struggling to find good gear. I don't know if my RNG is bad or if I'm not going to the right places to find good gear. Any tips, how can you help me? Um, and this was also inspired, I did a video very, uh, just a couple of days ago as well, which was doing an account takeover for an earlier game player that was really, again, struggling to, to get their gear on. Uh, and we were talking about getting the right stats and stuff like that. So I wanted to do like a shorter guide here to tell you exactly what you need. Three builds. There are three builds that you are going to need to make and how to make them when you're starting out and you can't like take down the higher level dungeons and things like that. So let's dive in. Let's take a look. We've got Elhane up here on the front page uh, because very simply, she is the first build we want to do. This can be your starter champion, whether it's Galek, Elhain, Aethel, or Kale, whichever one you chose, they're all gonna have a pretty similar build. Elhain has one slight difference, but apart from that, they're all gonna be very, very similar, and that's gonna be your starter type build. By the way, uh, we're gonna jump into a spreadsheet in one second here, but if you wanna see how I got to the point I'm at in this account right here, check out this playlist. This, I haven't done it for a little while. I'm gonna throw this video into the playlist as well. Uh, but I did a, a, f a short series of videos at the very start uh, of the year here where I was I made a brand new account and yeah we got Alhain up to six star we made the progress up to this point there's tons of tips in there like doing the forge correctly how to level stuff up properly um, so check it out if you're interested let's go to the spreadsheet though and here we've got the three key builds that we're going to want we're going to want one champion to do each of these and I'll give you suggestion champions as well first up is our starter we could also call this a nuker right a damage dealer this is the person that's going to come in and do all the damage that's going to kill everything we only really need one of these uh, for most of this early game content we need one and our starter can do it and believe it or not the starter gear that you get just from that the, the first week of logging in is incredibly good and actually getting this rolled up to 16 it has all of the perfect stats that we're going to need right you're going to get uh, all these pieces are going to have like speed attack percentage and crit rate on them they're mostly only four star the weapon is five stars so that's not the best in the world right we're going to be wanting to really move into five star gear as soon as possible and get rid of four star and below gear but to start you out this is great it's epic quality it's got the perfect substats bam 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 we get her rolled up and we're going to come out with stats something like this it might be slightly different for you depending on how your gear rolls but it's going to be really good gear either way there, there's really no way to go wrong we're going to come out with this what are our requirements going back to our spreadsheet here well very simple our goals with the starter champion we don't need any health we don't need any defense or resistance <laughs> okay we don't need any of that stuff we're building pure damage we're going glass cannon we're going to want at least 170 speed you're going to aim between 170 and 180. Uh, 170 speed is really the absolute minimum you want on any champion in this game past the first two weeks in if they've got less than that you're doing something wrong you need to rebuild them outside of some very particular and niche builds you can check out my my guide on Beardel Fellhammer in the Hydra if you want to see like a low speed very specific build but that's very specific we're not worried about that right now 170 and everyone your your nuker your starter should be pretty much your your slowest champion at that 170 speed crit rate 85 to 100 percent this is unique to the starters because all of the starters one of their aoe moves has an extra 15 percent chance to crit now with el hain it's actually this move is her bigger move which doesn't have a chance to crit so with el hain you should get el hain to 100 percent crit rate the other three starter champions though kale galek and uh, Aethel, they can all run at 85 and they'll be okay. There's no harm though in getting them up to 100%. They'll do more damage on their other moves, so it's still useful. Uh, and then for the three other starters, you're going to want to be going up to ultimately 200 accuracy. Uh, with Elhain, she has no debuffs, so she doesn't need any. Basically, the way it works, you need accuracy to place debuffs in this game. And as it scales up, Essentially, I think a really good rule of thumb is for every level of dungeons, and we're going to be going up to stage 20 is really to that mid-game point. Stage 21 and higher are much harder. Uh, so stage 20 is getting us to that mid-game. That's what we need for Arbiter. That's where we can consistently farm 5-star to 6-star gear. Um, you're going to need 10 per level, so 200 accuracy is going to take you up to Dragon 20. 
Incidentally, 200 accuracy is also... I probably... I'm not in a clan right now, so I probably can't see the Demon Lord. Yeah, I can't. Because uh, I haven't been playing this account at all. But even going up to, to Nightmare, 200 accuracy is going to be fine. Ultra Nightmare, you only need like 230 to be super consistent. So it's, it's actually not far off. And you can even do it with only 200. It will still work, right? So that's sort of the accuracy you're looking for. So you can be a little bit low on the accuracy at the start, but that's something we'll want to build up over time. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something to to, to look into, right? Uh, so there we go. That's what we're going for. And then we just want as much attack and as much crit damage as we can on top of that. So this is the most complicated build. We've got lots of parts to it, but it's really all about hitting the damage potential, right? Now, the next few champions we want to talk about, the next one, we want a debuffer. And in particular, we want someone that does decreased defense. War Maiden is a great example. I've got her in a bad build here. So let me talk about how I would be upgrading this for her to be useful moving forwards. What would I need to change? Because there's a lot to change here. Um, debuffer, War Maiden would do this, right? This when it's booked up, has a three turn cooldown. AoE attack that has a 100% chance when booked of placing 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns. So this is our core strategy for, for that early game. Very simple. Our debuffer comes in. They need to go before our starter champion. They successfully debuff the entire enemy team with decreased defense. So our starter comes in with their big AoE damage hit. And boom, they basically kill everyone in that single hit. That's really your game plan for most of these early dungeons, for arena, campaign even, progression, anything like that. This is the way that you are going to go. Uh... How do we do that? It's very simple. <laughs> very simple requirements here. We simply want 180 to 200 speed. This is a rough ballpark. Basically, they want to be faster than your starter champion is what you're aiming for. This is a good margin. Now, in my particular case, my Elhane is actually quite quick. She's 182. So I'd want my debuffer, my War Maiden, in, the, in this case, to be 183 or higher. And then they're also going to want up to 200 accuracy for those higher level dungeons and stuff like that. Now, how do we get to this 200 accuracy? If you look at this right here, my poor uh, my poor War Maiden is languishing with a very, very meager 63 accuracy. That's pretty bad. That's not going to take us really anywhere in the game. So how do we improve that? What's our next step here? And this is going to tie into this question of where do we get gear? So let me show you this in the spreadsheet. Just a very simple little example here. Check this out. Look at this. So in terms of getting accuracy, we can actually get 216 accuracy very, very easily just from campaign, believe it or not. Wearing three sets of accuracy, so that's six accuracy set pieces would give us 120 accuracy. Even a five-star accuracy chest fully rolled up is going to give us 78 accuracy. And then masteries can give us another 18 accuracy on top of that even more than that really this is low balling it uh, which is going to push us up to 216 so just from that we can actually get loads where do we get this and what should you farm well we can go into the campaign and you actually drop accuracy gear at stage five in felwyn's gate on brutal campaign you can't see it but i am on brutal here it's going to drop three to five star and um, these are usually going to be common quality or like grays or uncommon greens so they're going to be really bad pieces of gear but we can get at least a couple of these pieces to start filling us in what do we want uh, if you can get into nightmare this is going to be harder might be difficult but when you can get into nightmare you can potentially start dropping six star pieces which is much better but let's say we're on Brutal. We're going to be looking for five star pieces. It's going to take you a while to get this. You're going to look for speed boots. And you're going to look for an accuracy chest piece. Because we put the two of those together. That forms the full set. Speed boots. Good. That's going to give us uh, 40 speed. The accuracy chest is going to give us 78 accuracy. Plus this. We're going to be over halfway there. 78 plus 40. We're going to be up to... Uh, what's that? Like a, 118 uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah, 118 already. We're going to be halfway there. We put masteries on that. We're another chunk of the way there. And then it's actually going to be worth just filling up your other slots, really, with pieces that just have speed or accuracy on them, whatever that you need to fill your, your stuff in. So, for example, this would be a really good example here. This is a weapon. It's got speed on it, and it's got accuracy. So we're just going to go in. You can click your fitting room. You can filter by substats speed accuracy even going for whichever one you need to prioritize and putting on the pieces that work uh let me show i actually saw on this account i do have look at this we've got a really good bit here which is a five star epic speed chest accuracy it's got speed attack hp percent on it this is great when it's maxed out at 78 bonus accuracy 
Like this, with this, I'm actually away with my debuffer. My debuffer is sorted out. We're good, right? I could just find another random bit of accuracy gear to slap on with six star, uh, five or six star accuracy boots. And we're good, right? Because we don't care necessarily about the substats on the boots um, that you get from the higher rarities. We're good. So that's a really sneaky way that you can do it, right? Farming campaign for a bit of gear. So they're the... There are two pieces I'd recommend. Definitely get at least a five-star speed boot in accuracy set and a five-star accuracy chest in accuracy chest. And you don't care what the other stats are. We just want that 40 speed boot in accuracy set and 78 accuracy chest. The other thing that is worth farming up, especially when you get into Nightmare, but even on Brutal, at least a five-star speed boot is really good. Gives you 40 speed. When you can get up into Nightmare, this is also going to be worth farming up one of these. You're going to want to farm one six-star speed boot from Nightmare. The reason we farm these in campaign is we can we can guarantee uh, the type of artifact and the set. They're going to be really bad quality, but we can get the, 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 the main stat that we want maxed out as much as we can. Um, and that's going to be the core of what we need. Let me also show you the other build then. The other build over here, which is a speed booster. This is the other part of the trifecta uh, so you'll get your guaranteed speed booster uh, 30 days into the game with Hykatoon right alternatively uh, Apothecary who is a rare champion that you could pull he's your other classic one for that early game what do these champions do they've got really high base speed they give you increased speed and they fill your turn meter right Hykatoon uh, is going to do the same thing you're going to want to save your epic books for Hykatoon uh, she does the same thing though three turn cooldown when this is booked up 15% turn meter fill, 30% increased speed. They're going to help your champions to run fast. We jump over here. What do we want? You can see it's very simple. We just want them to be over 200 speed. And really, the more speed, the better. There's no cap on this. Um, and we don't care really about any of their other stats. We just want that 200 plus speed. You can see as well, I put in some suggestions for other stuff here in general, uh, but really we just care about these minimums. So for example, with your starter champion, uh, Defense is really not good and resist, just ignore those. But a bit of HP is not going to go astray. For your debuffers, you know, HP percent, defense, those are really good stats as well, just to help them survive. For your speed booster, the same sort of thing, you know, some health, or some defense, that's going to be just fine. There's no harm in that. Um, for Hykatoon in particular, she can actually put some debuffs as well. So you could give her accuracy too. She'd want to like up to 200 accuracy, but it's not your priority. You just need to get them as fast as possible. Then getting accuracy or defense is, is a luxury after that. But you put the three of those together and that forms the basis of what you're doing. So how are we gonna do it? Again, we saw it just there. We're gonna get an accuracy chest from campaign. We're gonna get speed boots in both of these in accuracy. That's gonna get our debuffer going on both their speed requirement and their accuracy requirement, and then fill it up with other random bits that have speed or accuracy substats. With their speed booster, we're gonna want them to have speed boots five or six star from campaign definitely farm up at least one pair of six star boots for your speed starter and then give them one more piece of speed gear to finish the set most likely and then again look for your gear with the fastest possible speed there's a good chance it will be speed gear but maybe it's not so get the keys to go in try the fitting room substats for speed and just try on all your bits of gear go through your equip stuff and try to find whatever is the fastest stuff that you can put together for that champion you want them to be as fast as possible and that trifecta that trio is going to take you through arena through campaign through loads of these dungeons and crucially on this account um we're almost up to dragon 13 and guess what this is where we're going to go after that right so you, all you need is the starter gear starter lifesteal gear from logging on your starter's good farm up a couple of bits from campaign to get your debuffer and your speed booster going and you'll easily I'm almost there with just the starter. Easily be able to take down stage 13 dragon, which is where you start dropping four to six star gear. And then when you get stuck in the game and you've got no champions worth leveling up and stuff like that, or if you're stuck for gear to get further in clan boss, then you can start farming stage 13 dragon is really good. Uh, stage 16 dragon is really good. And then of course the big one is when we get up to stage 20 dragon, which is where you can start getting five to six star gear. That's where you want to go as well. And by the way, in terms of building up like a full uh, a full team for Dragon, what you're generally going to be doing is you'd have in like your Hykatoon, your War Maiden, your Starter Champion. Then you might want someone in to heal. I've got someone like a Painkeeper here. 
Uh, and then probably someone to, to stun the waves, lock down the waves if possible. A couple of quick examples, you would be building something like a Reliquary Tender. If you got her, she's a Void Rare. She's got a Revive. She can heal your champions, remove debuffs. She can place decrease attack, super useful. So with her, you'd just be building her to be uh, kind of another build. You'd just be building her to be defensive. So good defensive stats and still that sort of medium debuffer level speed, you know, 180 to 200 ish speed, about 200 be good and just build her to be tanky. That's all you need. Maybe some accuracy for that decrease attack on her. You could, uh, yeah, I've got one of the champions I'm using on this account. That I talked about before is not undead. He's Night Revenant. Uh, someone for Clan Boss. Clan Boss builds. Coffin Smasher. Great champion for Clan Boss. He's got big decrease attack. He's got HP burn. Reducing our damage from AoE attacks. For Clan Boss. The champions for Clan Boss. You want them really in lifesteal sets if possible. But only worth it at level 60. When you've got War Master or Giant Slayer Masteries. You'll have to watch the video to figure out uh, why that is the case. But I explain it in there. Uh, and they need just about 170 speed and then just as tanky as possible, 200 resistance for champions like this that have debuffs. Um, and they don't really need damage. They're going to do all their damage with their debuffs and with War Master Giant Slayer. Poisoners like Frozen Banshee would be another great example of that. There's lots of stuff we can do. Frozen Banshee, great poisoner. Uh, and then champions that can bring some crowd control can be pretty nifty as well or keep your team alive. So we might be looking more to epics for that. One great example... Um, uh, from the rares is actually this chap bellower great example especially if you can get him in a stun set and have him pretty quick he does aoe hits on every single hit he can block active skills he can decrease speed so you're going to build him with good speed and accuracy build him as a debuffer in a stun set if you can uh in the sort of mid game maybe and that's really going to help you in those stage 20 dungeons right so there's a whole bunch of stuff there in today's video guys hope you got some ideas for where you want to go in campaign to get some gear what builds the three core builds that you want to get up potentially adding on then a healer some crowd control some stuns uh so on some slows to your team to get through those waves potentially looking at a poisoner something like that like frozen banshee for dragon for clan boss and um yeah then really dragon is going to be the place you're going to go early game then because it has those key sets it has accuracy it has speed and then lifesteal because lifesteal is the the set to go for for that early game clan boss and then there's even some stuff in here that isn't terrible but those three sets really are the core of that early game you don't need to worry about the other dungeons too much spider is the only other thing worth mentioning with rings amulets banners very tricky difficult to get far on spider uh, to be honest with you like if you can get up and start farming you know stage 10 isn't bad you can start dropping four to five star pieces there stage 10 this is super slow though spider's very hard um that's that's something a topic for another video but certainly the clan shop you can buy accessories you can build up some accessories that way and from cvc tournaments as well clan v clan tournaments guys thank you for watching hope that you enjoyed and i will see you next time Bye bye